<laughs> Lolcow Live looking for another editor. Wait, what? Wait, this is the fifth editor. Wait, wait, wait. So after Connor, there was Tuba. And then there's Luna Parks. And now that didn't work out. That only lasted one day. That didn't work out. And now Help Wanted again. So basically, DMAX has a little crew, right? And it's Maggot Edict, Peepaw Riveter, who's like this old man who does uh, commentary stuff. He used to co-host for Dead on Dave. This is like their trio, like fucking DMAX, Maggot, Riveter. So DMAX was the first editor. And uh, there's like some drama and stuff uh, regarding, you know, why he got uh, fired. People are Riveter quote tweets is like, this is a consistent, uh, this is a constant in this equation, but I can't really put my finger on it. Can someone help out? So he's like shit talking because he's DMAX's friend, which by the way, like Connor got fired for a dumb reason. I don't know about Tuba and Luna Parks, but DMAX, um, from what I've heard behind the scenes, uh, and in my opinion, and I think we'll hear it here publicly too, the exact reason why, I actually agree with DMAX being fired, unlike the Connor thing. So yeah, th this is this is basically live Twitter versus yeah, because I'm not making a full Twitter versus on fucking Peepaw Riveter, dude. Although I did make a joke thumbnail because I just think it's so funny, the idea of having a video titled Twitter versus Peepaw Riveter. I mean, I might, if this is juicy enough, I might just for the funny title. But uh, but let's see what Keemstar responds. We got some Twitter Oh, there's a constant here. problem on the show, but you can't quite put your finger on it. So you want to talk some shit, triple chin. Well, let's talk some shit then. Because the first editor on Lolcow Live was your buddy D-Max. And after D-Max worked for like a week or a week and a half, whatever it was, he requested more money. Two grand a month to be the editor for Lolcow Live wasn't enough money for him. His reasonings? He said that it took him 19 hours to edit a single fucking episode. Peapod. This is what I want you to do. Okay, yeah, that's retarded. That's what I heard too. It, so he wanted more than 2K a month for editing the podcast and he somehow took 19 hours and it was all problems on his end. I think it was like his computer editing software, like various other things that's like, hey, if you're hiring an editor to do the jo a job, it's their responsibility to have everything in order in order to do that job effectively. Just because it takes him 19 hours doesn't mean you have to pay him as if it would take anyone else 19 hours, you know? But. I want you to go out on your YouTube channel, on your Twitter, somewhere public, and I want you to defend DMAX and say, you know what? It wasn't DMAX's fault that he sucked at fucking editing. It was Lokal Live's fault. Of what was he doing he making a fit? So I, I think a lot of that time was uh, waiting for like rendering and stuff. So he wasn't actually working. That's not working. If you're rendering a video, like, yeah, your computer is like disabled for a little bit because it's using all that processing power to render it, but you're not really working, you know? 19 hours to edit a- And, and like, just get a better computer. Our episode of the podcast. I want you to get behind that. Actually fucking say it. Just so everybody can look at the fucking retard you are. Okay, now we have a response from Peepaw Riveter. <laughs> this is Peepaw Riveter. I think he's in his 50s, dude. Peepaw Riveter. So, as far as the money thing, that, whatever, that's really not my... I don't care. That's was really between you and D-Max. You know, it kind of boils down to what a man thinks his time is worth. You know? No, okay, now, if, if the 19 hours, which I think... The, this is the only way that 19 hours makes sense for editing the podcast... If majority of that's rendering time, that's not... Dude, you can do anything while something... Or that's waiting... That's looking at a loading screen. What do you mean? You, just, you said... In your little your little video, you said... Uh, I haven't pre-watched any of this, by the way. That so. you wanted me with my whole chest defend why it would take 19 hours to possibly edit one video? Yes. Well, let's... Well, what, well, it's a podcast. Like, for one video, yeah, if it's, like, a big video, then sure. But, like, for this, no. Let's let's take a little quick look back here. Let's see. This Wait, is he going to own Kim? Tweet out back on November 10th, which was, I'm pretty sure D-Max was editing then. Yeah. Matter of fact, I know he was. This is from the Law Call Live, you know, Twitter account. It says, Tommy's video was 2 gigabytes. Boogies was 3.5. Wings was 26.5. And it's just audio. This show is cursed. This is a little issue compared. Okay, so 
that might be some reasons why it may have taken... Yeah, I mean, the the files, especially, I guess, at the beginning of the podcast, I don't know if it's still the same. It probably is. I know what Connor did for Lol Cow and, and the, the hoops he had to go through, especially with cutting out the swears and, like, Wings Audio and the weird things. So, like, I know, like, how much extra time it can take to fix all these issues. Sometimes it doubles what the uh, editing time would be. But that doubled amount would never be 19 hours. It would maybe be eight hours at the very most if there was a ton of issues, right? Probably more likely five or less. And, um, you know, I, I only, you might be thinking, oh, well, you only edit Twitter versus you only do stream, blah, blah, blah. You can't even set up a stream properly. I, over the years, have done so much um, podcasting, multiple audio content. So just to like, I guess, verify my opinion. I mean, I've been a YouTuber for what, what like 12 years or 13 years. So you guys know, but just to give you an example of uh, the type of, you know, stuff I was editing or I have been editing. So to give you a point of view on why I know it takes this long, right? I synced up three audios, three gameplays, uh, counted individual like uh, stats, like deaths in the game, um, you know, star coins got in at a particular time, goals, you know, so I, <laughs> I know what editing multiple fucking audio lines and video lines and stuff, like, I know, right? It doesn't take 19 hours. It does not take 19 hours. Um, so yeah, just a, uh, an example. This is an eight-year-old video. The, these videos... <laughs> They have edgy humor, but they age what? Like, if you ever want any, like, you know, old Bo Blacks content just to watch, you're bored, you want, you want to see some retro Bo Blacks, I highly recommend uh, the Mario Sunshine 3 player race that's on Bo Blacks Beta, and then, like, any of the older videos on this channel. I hated you guys, which I don't. If it takes 19 hours, you're adding yourself as a bad editor, yeah. And I'm just assuming that most of that time is rendering. If it isn't, then it's even worse, like, but... Did, but... In this, In this conversation, conversation, Buggy is talking about the Harry Potter game, and he has said fuck at this point 27 times. Listen. Fuck you. That... <laughs> Dude, it's, it... No wonders the fucking editor hates us. Oh my god. So, I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a couple of examples of why it possibly could have taken the 19 hours to edit, but I don't know. I'm not an editor. But it seems logical to me. Not to me. It would take and I know five, how It would take eight hours max. My friend D Max is about editing. It should take three hours probably. He's almost a perfectionist. Uh, ideally, it would probably would take two. Out. If all the files were like in the proper place and everything without any mistakes from Boogie or Tommy or whatever, it would take two to three hours. If there is mistakes, it would take five hours. If it's really bad, I could see it taking up to eight hours, not 19. Come on. Good. Especially with the sense, the censoring does extend the time a lot. If Keem didn't demand the censoring, uh, the the time could be kind of. So with Keem demanding the censoring, I think it could take maybe four hours, five hours. Uh, if there's the censoring and the mistakes, like let's like tack on an extra hour for the mistakes that you need to fix from the files, tack on an extra hour for the censors, probably two hours if there's that many, uh, cause you know, it's just tedious work, but it definitely shouldn't take 19 hours. And if it takes 19 hours, that's just not effective enough for the podcast because they, they want to release two a week. And if it takes 19 hours to make each of them, the turnaround time is going to be at least like two or three days, which is not what they want. So, like, it made sense that they fired him, especially when he was demanding more money. Like, no, don't demand more money. Fucking figure out how to make it in faster than 19 hours. Yeah, streamline that workflow. If it takes that long, it, it's your fault. I don't know. You went through, what, four, five editors now? I'm not saying the issue is, I, I, maybe it's, maybe you're right. The issue was D because the thing is, like, D Max got fired and then Connor lasted for multiple, multiple months. Now, obviously, he's having trouble replacing Connor, and Connor got removed for a stupid reason. But with the D Max thing, like, I think the fact that it worked so well with Connor, even though he was shit talking Keem a lot for that long afterwards, proves that, you know, the work D Max was doing was just not up to snuff. So maybe it's just cursed. I don't know. This is better. Okay, so Keemstar responds and adds Nicholas Diorio. 
Oh, Peepaw, you're wrong. You're wrong. Dude, fuck Peepaw. There was um, issues with the fucking audio. Fuck you, Peepaw! I, I just, dude, the name, how he looks and how he is and his name, Peepaw Riveter, it's just like, anybody getting in drama with him is just so fucking funny. I'm not saying Kim's in the wrong here or whatever, but dude, just Peepaw Riveter. Fuck you, Peepaw! Fuck you, man! Audio and Wings files. Oh, yeah, everyone knows that, right? But Fuck this when we let go of D-Max, it was when he had an issue-free audio, issue-free video, and he told me that it took him 19 hours to do it and he needed more money. That's insane. And That's insane. I purposely went out of my way to get a witness to make sure I wasn't going crazy. Nicholas Dioro was on the phone hearing this conversation, and I, I fucking remember this like it was yesterday. Nick goes... Wait, this is the episode that had no issues, right? Not the first one. This is the one that had no audio issues and no video issues. And D-Max goes, yeah, and it's still- Dude, it got the Nicholas Diorio seal of approval, too. <laughs> Dude, everyone gets Nick to- I, I don't know. I'm sure he doesn't mind, but I kind of feel bad for him in the slight sense where it's like, do everybody always ask like, okay. Like, like Nick is like the number one optics checker. Like everyone calls up Nick like, hey. And it's because he's good at it, but it's just so funny you know, that he's, he's involved in so many extra scenarios just because he's like, he's basically like the fucking YouTube drama advisor. Like, that should be his fucking official title. To edit one hour podcast. That's what he said. But he's good at it, so it makes Bro, sense. Bro, so look, you're fucking wrong. And I don't wrong. think he minds doing it. You're so. wrong. You're this fucking wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're Dude. When he does this shit, it comes off more as coping than badass. Like, I know he thinks it's badass, and I agree with him it, with the peepaw thing, but dude, the way he said it, it just sounds like coping. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, we get it, dude. You're fucking wrong. You're, You're wrong. wrong. You're fucking wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Like, okay, bro. You're okay, wrong. Bro. Deal with it. You're fucking wrong. Dude, so you're fucking oh. wrong. Calm down, buddy. Dude, what is this response with the fucking neck, dude? Dude, he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, oh, just fucking ate my cheeseburger, dude. King, like I said, I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't, I'm not an editor. I don't know. Dude, he's out of his depth, dude. Keem needs to stop fucking arguing with the senior home. Dude. How long Come it would on. take to edit? I, I, I'm, I don't know. And I don't know why you're getting It's so an RTU angle. True. This. You're actually right. But for whatever reason, you're, you're upset, so... I'm wrong, okay? I'm not an editor. I don't know how long it takes to edit things like that. I don't know how long it takes me to edit things, but I'm not an editor, so it takes, I'm sure, quite a bit longer. But again, I, I you asked me to show plausible reasons of why, and I felt like I showed that, and, but you're just, whatever. Listen, dude, have a good day, okay? <laughs> so yeah, he's just out of his depth. He's just out of his depth. He's just he's just peepaw riveter, dude. Come on. He's just an old man trying to talk shit and it doesn't work. But 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 this isn't just about peepaw riveter, dude. Cause D Max responded, the editor himself, with this fucking dark viper AU long essay. So let's see what his reasoning is now that we've listened to Keem's reasoning. Which I agree with, by the way, based on everything I know. I agree with Keemstar here, right? Dude, if I made this for a Twitter versus I want to kill myself, dude. Like, really reading all this? Okay. Keemstar's lying. The reason I refused Keem begging for me to take 2k a month was because I wanted 2.5k a month to be the editor, social media manager, and live producer. And yes, you read that right. Keem literally begged for me to take 2k a month at the end of my attempt at an anapical negotiation. Dude, 19 hours though. Okay. Like, 2 cat did. Okay, so I think the theory is, and I don't know this for sure, but I heard that D-Max has, like, a really, really rich, like, spoiled upbringing, and he just doesn't know, like, his value of, his understanding of the value of money is just inflated because he grew up rich. But I don't know, that's just a rumor. But I think it makes sense with his behavior. Keem uh, initially pitched 500 a month for a trial period, in his words, to see if I'd work out as an editor. Fair. I think that's good. After episode one uh, and the amazing reception to the hard work we put into the episode, Keem told me I was social media manager and had to post 
a short to Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube every day. I explained my reluctance, but for my troubles, I was raised by $100 uh, to $600 a month. This was still during the trial period, though. I don't know why Akeem would ask for more work during the trial period. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I was under the impression that Keem was still in a trial period. Granted, Keem said my pay would double from 600 to, uh, to, okay, so it doubles after the trial period. But I mean, the trial period, if he knew that he was good enough to do more shit, then the trial period would be over. I don't fucking know. I don't know. After I completed episode two and posted many shorts, I decided that the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. I knew I had to be a team player. Lolcat was a new channel. Dude, you're working with Keemstar. You know it's going to be difficult. But even then, this isn't even that difficult. It's just talk. It's like negotiating press. You're just starting out. You're, you're trying to figure out uh, what work you need to do, what the prices are. I couldn't live on what I was making for the work I was putting. Yeah. Wait, what? Lolcat wouldn't be your full-time job. It would be part-time. What? You expected to get a full-time salary for this? For editing a podcast and posting shorts? What? That's stupid. That's retarded. Keem knew that too because in our first convo he literally asked how much I need to live. Really? Dude, really? You're gonna... You're gonna... Dude. You're gonna be a full-time employee for Keemstar and have your living be based on Keemstar? Okay, that's just not smart. Also, after episode two, I asked Keem to reevaluate because even double pet... Also, you should get paid for the amount of work you do, not for what you need to live. You should get paid based on the work, and then if it's enough to live, then good. And if it's not, then get another job. Like, th this is... This shouldn't be a full-time job. It doesn't take that long. Well, I guess for you, 19 hours doesn't make sense and it was becoming very clear that keem was going to milk me for every ounce of talent and ability i had what dude he just wants an editor bro like i don't think keem, like keem keem has a like huge amount of money he's just he's just looking to pay someone to do some work for him it's not it's not really that deep bro like what the fuck even trying to get me to be in the content he wanted uh to video myself yelling at wings for messing up his audio. So this is actually a point in favor of Connor because this is this is a uh, Dmax confirming that Keemstar wanted uh, there to be drama with, with between like the editor and the cows for content, which is what Connor was providing on my stream. And then Keem's pussy got too sore. So this actually helps with the Connor defense because he was also asking some Dmax, and Connor essentially got the same exact same job as Dmax, just straight up replaced. So. I've never been told to yell at a boss before and I wasn't going to do that. Sorry, Van Luke. That was the call I got while I was on clear as mud. And I literally used my frustration with that call on you. Not actually sorry. Okay, this like relates to some other drama I don't fucking know about. I did some soul searching and realized the way we might all be happy. I politely but firmly asked for 2,500 citing the workload, the hours I was logging. Dude, he just doesn't know. You, it doesn't take 19 hours to edit. You need to fucking, this is your problem. This is your workflow problem. I know Keem's like, hor is not like great to work with, right? And I'm acknowledging those faults while I'm giving this critique, like those annoying, like those things you have to deal with with Keem while giving this critique. But like, dude, it seems like you just do not understand anything about like the business world like at all i mean like it obviously and we've been saying this calling or like working for a youtube channel is not the same as working you know a normal nine to five job especially when it comes to keemstar but in terms of just like the finances and the monetary worth of like what your work is worth what you're doing how you could maximize profit while minimizing uh your workload through time management on your own end like all of that like it just seems like he wants to be given, you know, a full-time job type salary and just do the work that he knows to do without like going out of his way to improve his work to make it more time effective. Like if it takes you 19 hours, become a better editor and then maybe you'll deserve that pay, you know? Paying someone 2.5K a month for a 19 hour turnaround time on a live stream VOD with no issues is just unacceptable, especially when Keemstar's trying to upload two 
you know, edited podcasts a week with a like decent turnaround time from the live because they go live and then the members only and then like the next day they have like the edited version. Well, it's not like this anymore, but at the time they had the edited version, right? And you'd want to get that edited version out fast because that live content isn't accessible to the public anymore due to, you know, the way it works with the them changing the VOD to membership and making the edited version the only public version so that you don't have to pay for. So, you know, I, I guess you could argue that, like, Keem doesn't have to go about it that way, but he's the boss, he wants it that way, and that's what he's paying DMAX to do. And if DMAX can't do that, then he gets fired. Like, it's that simple, man. It's really that simple. Future editors is rolling your hockey. Exactly. Here's the thing. I'm also kind of inefficient in some ways with editing. Like I have an adult, I like there's hotkeys. I probably should be using shortcuts. I probably should be using or whatever, but you know, I'm my own boss. If, if I were to work for someone and I was having problems getting stuff done on time, I would look up like premiere tutorials on like how to, you know, speed up my process. Willie Mac show in the chat. If my videos di don't take 19 hours to edit, that podcast definitely does not Exactly, exactly. Right? And if you said your videos took like 20 hours to edit, I would believe you. That's like a reasonable time. I guess you're just really fat. You're faster at editing, which is good. Yeah, 19 hour is just inexcusable, dude. It's just really inexcusable. And this this whole like, I'm going to demand more money until, instead of getting better as an Dude, no, it's not just Keem. No one would want to edit if hire you as an editor like this, unless they just had a shit ton of money, wanted like a channel to kind of work passively behind the scenes and didn't really care about like when it was uploaded, right? Like, oh, fucking edit for my like fifth clips channel or whatever and just upload as much as you can. Here's some money, lol. I make so much, I don't even care. That'd be like the only scenario where he would be hired. And even then they'd probably try to get somebody else because there's, I imagine even if you're rich, you're still trying to be cost efficient, right? That's how you got rich in the first place. Uh, I'd edit every episode to every platform, short social media posts in general. Social media posts. Why do people act like posting on Twitter is like work? Dude, I've been work. I've been tweeting for free this whole time, dude. Should I have been getting like paid millions? I do get paid through Twitter now, uh, but it's only like twenty dollars a month or less. So it's not really that much. It's basically still free. Uh, wrangle the crew for missing files and be live producer for Lol Cow Live. Wow, you have to message people. Like he's complaining about these things, like they're big tasks. Like that's like me saying like, oh, I have so much work to do today. I have to wake up. I have to take a shower, turn on the faucet, get the soap out, scrub myself, fucking get, do all the other hygiene stuff, fucking crack open an egg, put it on the pan, get the margarine out. Oh my God. All that just to cook, dude. Like, it's just so much work to cook breakfast every morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should get paid. That's literally like what this... Wrangle the crew for missing files. That's just a DM. Wow. Dude, I gotta get paid a hundred dollars for sending this DM. And to prove how reasonable that all is, that's Connor's income coming in. That was Connor's income coming in. Yeah, Connor did a way better job than you. He did not take 19 hours to do his edits. During my negotiation, Keem resorted to pleading and then threatening me that I didn't do that work. Yeah, I mean that sounds like Keemstar, but still, it seems like it's justified in this sense. Uh, in this case. He even called Nicholas Diorio to m mitigate, mediate, mitigate. I think he meant mediate. Because Nick had to delete a post of Keem trying to light me up publicly on Twitter about it while I was on the phone with him. It's nice that Nick tries to do damage control, but I don't blame Nick for being like all these people. Because Nick has a good heart and then he like tries to help people, but he always, he ends up helping the retards and then gets like fucked, like low key in the process for it. Not like super fucked, but... I don't blame Nick for being like, no more new friends or no more helping people out behind the scenes. Cause it's dude, they just keep fucking up. Nick left the call when he realized Keem was being stupid and I was being reasonable. Okay, so I think Nick quote tweet, retweets him and says he lied. So we'll see Nick's take on that uh, shortly. Nick said he offered to be the editor for 2K and then Nick said I was a better editor than him. What? Dude, there's no way that happened. I guess we'll see. After Keem acted like that, there was no longer an amount of money for me to continue working with them. I edited episode three after quitting to give, but fuck my kindness, I suppose. In regards to the strange talking point about how long each episode took me to edit, 
I did spend a great amount of time on everything I did for Lolacow, even episode 3, and I always got everything out on time. I don't know how this is an own. To say I was dedicated to the product I was making, Keem is mad at me perpetually now because he didn't get his way and couldn't walk all over me. I wear it like a badge of honor that DJ Killer Keemstar actually said to me, you were the most difficult person I've ever had to work with. Lol, X to doubt, but I'll take it. I stayed silent because I tried to be as professional as possible when it comes to work. And I, I hate talking this much smack about previous clients regarding my circumstances. All productions are stressful, but I'm sick of being cast as a money grubber when I was being completely realistic. You weren't. Keem, you're a jerk. Enjoy the content. I love sharing this type of thing because there are a timesheet if anyone is curious. Episode 1, you work on it for 6 hours, then you work on it for 8 hours. Found out a social media manager spent about 7 hours doing various things like signing in everywhere, posting clips and making sure- 7 HOURS?! To log into shit?! Oh wait, it, it's, it's zoomed in a bit so you're not seeing it. This is what he said. 7 HOURS?! This guy's just- no, this guy's just retarded. I'm sorry. This is just like- this is just brain dead. Episode 2? Okay, so this- this seems more reasonable. This seems more reasonable here. This makes sense. Back from lunch, worked on episode 2, posted another short, finished. Tried working on thumbnail, failed miserably, told me to- THREE HOURS WORKING ON A THUMBNAIL?! THREE HOURS! THREE HOURS ON A THUMBNAIL! Three hours on a fucking thumbnail. What? Wait, I'm, ma I'm making a Twitter versus thumbnail for this right now, dude. I know this isn't a fair comparison because my thumbnails have a formula, but. All right, let's see. Dmax, Dmax, images, Dmax, YouTuber. Let's see, this is the hardest part. Trying to find a picture of him. D Max, D Max, D Max. D Max, D Max. Um, where the fuck is his channel? D Max. Okay, so this is old. He has a store, but I can't find his YouTube. What? Dmax.com? Okay, here we go. YouTube. Wait, I can't click on the YouTube? What? This is just not cl- Content! What?! Dude, stop asking for money and give me the YouTube. YouTube main. Here we go. One video. There we go. Where's this fucking avatar in this? Okay, maybe it does take three hours to make a fucking- No. Screenshot. There we go. Remove background. Resize. 1920, 1, 1080. Download. Where's the Twitter logo? Nowadays I make the Twitter logo really big. Before I used to put it on the whole screen, now I do it like this. I think it's better. No, bam, bada boom, bada boom, bing. There, the thumbnail's done. I don't know. It's a shitty thumbnail. Maybe I would, I, I would, I would probably change it up. I'd probably try to work to refine this. I don't know, but I mean, it doesn't. It might take like an hour at most. I don't fucking know. Like it's not that long. Three hours? Like you guys already knew it was ridiculous when I showed it, but like three hours, really? I know my my thumbnails have a formula, so it's like. I already got down, but I've never spent more than an hour on a thumbnail ever, I don't think. And I've made thousands of videos. And some thumbnails I make are really good. My click-through rate is better than the average YouTuber, for sure. An hour and a half to make a short. No way! That takes 30 minutes! 4.5 hours, dude. Organizing shorts for 4.5 hours. If you're new at it, yeah. But like, if it takes this long for him, these are things that he needs to refine and he needs to get better at. The solution is for him to have better time management and learn how to do things quicker over time, not that Keemstar is underpaying him. Because it should not take, the, like, this is just ludicrous. This is like two to three times longer than it should take. Loading in episode three footage. That shouldn't count as work. And why does it take 
1.5 hours to load footage into fucking Premiere. Overnight render failed. Had to restart in AM. Okay, that doesn't... Had to render proxies while having issues loading files. Remix Tommy stuff and it worked fine. Worked on episode till... Dude, what the fuck? How are you not done? How are you not done? Uh, three hours? How are you not done it? Roughly 45 minutes in? After all that time? After cogging over 40 hours? 25 more minutes to go. Eight hours to, to, to edit 25 minutes of podcast. Eight hours? That doesn't make sense. There's just nothing that could... That doesn't make sense. Woke up from a nap eight. Why is this even logged? 10 minutes left of the video. Wait, it took eight hours to edit 15 minutes of the video and then... Dude. And then 2.5 to do the last 10. Finished watch through. And then render 10 more minutes just to check. Two hours to check if it's okay. 12 hours to edit episode three. Rendering five to eight. Dude, just get a better fucking pe Final message to the group chat. Wait, 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 wait. This is, yeah, this is just beyond retarded. Good afternoon, everyone. I just uploaded episode three of Law Cow Live. It's a fantastic episode. Props all around. I think the cows have really hit their stride. Can't wait for everyone to see it. So you said this in the group chat. Unfortunately, we were not able to reach an agreement for our negotiations, so I will be ending the trial period here. Though our time together was brief, it was an amazing opportunity to meet and work with y'all. I have the pro- Okay. So he's just like, okay. All right. This is insane. You took 12 hours to edit down one podcast. Literally, did. Okay, so let's see what Nicholas said. Why would you drag me into this discussion and lie? You demanded over three grand on the phone and overplayed your hand and then walked dumbass, Lamau. Also, with, with, with him saying, like, uh, Nick thought I was a better editor than him or whatever, Nick literally was talking shit about how D-Max wanted more money. Like, <laughs> this was his opinion from the start. And, dude, like, I fully agree. I did negotiate a better deal for you. Yes, you refused to budge on the phone. Then, when you showed us your timesheet... You said it took like 12 hours to 19 hours to edit the fucking podcast. So that's just what we, uh, sh he showed. And Nick shows it again below here. After hearing that, I personally gave the recommendation for Keem to fire you. Apparently Nick, according to DMAC, said that he's a better editor than Keem and editors and Keem's being ridiculous. Then he recommended, but he actually recommended Keem to fire you, which I'm pretty sure is true. I'm pretty sure Nick told me this. I don't remember exactly though, but you, uh, clearly didn't possess the necessary skill set to continue. True. People should be paid for their time, yes, but you can't perform and get the job done in a reasonable amount of it. I'm surprised he didn't go more in on him, because he spoke a lot for Nick. But I, I guess there's more to this thread. D, Lusional, Max, was dumb enough to post this timesheet so everyone can see how fucking slow he was. This kid signed a bad deal, sucked at his job, and hosed Keem down for money afterwards. Neither side of this came out looking good. Dude, yeah, the timesheet is fucking insanity, dude. It's literally insanity. This is my DM with Connor where I confirmed after I was away from the project that he was paid well at the time of his hiring. This combo was notably before my public falling out with DMAX. So we have uh, November 20th. Connor saying, I'm getting uh, 1200 in December, then regular pay after that if it goes well. Works fine for me. The editing work doesn't seem very difficult. I need cash anyway since I stopped doing RFC after Augie left, and that's more than what I made doing that full time. Nick responds, so he doubled his trial offer and promised you more, that's good. Before I ruined his negotiation, 1200 was supposed to be regular pay for DMAX, and 600 was him starting. Wow, seriously? That's wild. Once I got involved, they told me it was going up, but it was the first agreement he agreed upon. I told Augie they were both wrong. Keem gave him a shit deal, which I agree. Uh, I think 1200 uh, a month is too low. And D-Max thought he was worth 300, 3,200. I would say for a law cow, I don't know, maybe like 2K. I think 2K was good. I don't know. But uh, like, assuming he does it fast enough. Like, I don't think his his work is worth 1200 It for how long he took. But assuming he does the job correctly, like Connor did, I think 1200 is too low. I definitely think what he was ended up paying, like, you know, 
2.5 to 3k is is good or even 2k uh but this is just all my personal opinion based on working with editors and me editing and just knowing how this shit works augie told me it was 2 to 3k a month he was making and he wanted more and also if you want to be a freelance full-time editor i think if you want to make being a freelance editor your full job you have to work for more than one youtuber you have to work for like two or three solid youtubers you can't expect them to give you a living wage for and it really depends how the video is edited too like editing a twitter versus video versus editing like a willie mac show video completely different ballpark so if you're working with someone who like has really really high edited videos i can see that being full-time and it like working but ideally i think if you're a freelance editor my advice would be to work for two youtubers at least solidly but to, if you want to make money only on editing come january he was gonna get like uh 1200 and then keem said they agreed oh also my perception of money is kind of fucked here because once we get into the thousands canadian dollar versus us dollar is different so i was thinking in canadian dollar this whole time but it is usd so my suggestions on editing price just convert that i guess to three thousand now that's even more ridiculous usd wait how much is that cad wait usd to cad four thousand dollars four thousand four hundred and three thousand what Okay. For context, guys, for context, typically it fluctuates very heavily. And this month has actually been the worst month for Twitter versus. I only made, I think, 2.5k on my main this month. But it was luckily made up for a lot on Mayo Monkey. You guys have been supporting me. I made like 1.4k this month on Mayo Monkey. So, pretty bad month for me. But regardless, like, this is more than I make a month on Twitter. Well,. Usually I would actually make more than this. Usually it would be 5k to like, it's like 3k to 5k a month. I don't know. But yeah, this is about as much I make a month on Twitter versus. So. Yeah, and I work more hours than uh, he did. Even, even with these inflated hours that he should not be working. It should not take that long. I think you got the job because Tommy hates you. I think that was key selling point, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Dude, D-Max is fucking spoiled. Really? You want that much money a month? Dude, what a fucking... A and he's doing such a bad job, dude. No, yeah, D-Max is retarded as fuck. There you go, there you go. Dude, that's... Oh, my God. Literally... Literally, literally. He's gonna block you. He already unfollowed me. Dude. What a fucking monkey.